Good afternoon. An Albuquerque woman claims a dog groomer broke her teacup poodle's jaw. When she looked into how it happened, she learned the groomers performed a service on her dog that's only supposed to be done by licensed vets. As Allison Martinez reports, the business claims the groomer who did the procedure claimed to have a license. Whimpering, shaking, and unable to eat. That's the last thing I expected a year was we think your dog has a broken jaw. According to a report filed with Albuquerque's Animal Welfare Department, Monica Valdez took her teacup poodle Precious to Rockstar Grooming near Coors and Sequoia on July 25th. We requested that um, she get groomed and um, they said as if she, they, we wanted her teeth clean and brushed. Valdez tells us she agreed to the basic $50 grooming, but when she returned to pick up her 10-year-old dog... And the owner explained to me that they had did a scaling on her teeth. A procedure to crack plaque and tartar off of teeth. The Board of Vet Medicine says it would be an extremely painful procedure without anesthesia. You have to be a licensed veterinarian. Uh, it's my understanding the procedure performed by this groomer is a procedure that requires um, uh, some kind of sedation. And the CAT scan revealed um, not just one break, but um, two breaks in the TMJ further back in the jaw. The board says they're under the impression no sedation was used. Animal Welfare's report states there was no record of a licensed vet on staff at Rockstar Grooming. Rockstar Grooming says they contracted the space to Lydia Gomez, who claimed to have a license to perform the procedure, and that they took her at her word. Because of all this, I didn't accept her payment, and uh, she has moved on elsewhere now. I love animals, and I would not allow any type of abuse to happen in my shop. That was Allison Martinez reporting. Now, that does not mean the owner of Rockstar Grooming is in the clear. The city says it is looking into revoking the shop's license. Now, we did reach out to Lydia Gomez, the groomer in question. We have not heard back. She could face animal cruelty charges.